Yeah. Mm. Um, so uh, the, the book that Eugene is talking about there, um, about five or six years ago, I stumbled on this guy uh, called Dr. King, who, who lived here in Penang in the 1850s. Mm. And uh, in one sense, he was a very dull person. He was a good doctor, yes, but he was painfully shy uh, and a bit rude. Oh, wow. so, <laughs> so, so nobody liked him except maybe one or two people who were also rude and shy and, and they hung out together. Okay. Not to mention he had pliers. But, For what? <laughs> but, they, but, you know, where, where he becomes interesting is uh, at that time, there was a, a ship which left here every two weeks carrying mail, carrying mm. letters home to UK. So every two weeks, uh, the, the Dr. King, he would write two letters, one to his mother, my dear mama, mm. and one to father, my dear papa. Uh, and for, uh, I think it was about 11 years, he wrote two letters every fortnight back to UK. And the amazing, uh, which is kind of okay, so what? The amazing thing is, that his parents kept all those letters and you can read them today. And yes, he was painfully shy and yes, he was rude, but this was wonderful because it meant he had lots of time at home by himself. Mm. And he wrote these, these terrific letters being rude about people <laughs> or, or describing what he was doing. And, and so we, ha we have 11 years of him describing Penang then. Uh, and then uh, what you do is you discover the local vicar of, uh, of the church. What do you know? He was a friend of King and he wrote a, a diary as well. Oh, wow. Now, I'm not saying the vicar was rude and, and shy. He, he was a different character altogether. He, he was a really nice guy. Uh, and uh, King's wife wrote a diary, a local judge wrote poetry about people in Penang.